What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Trench Grenade channel. I am your host, the overpriced tactical pant enjoyer that your mom said that you have at home. Today, we are going to be discussing a budget option for tactical pants, a mid tier option, and a high tier option. The order may surprise you based on my opinions of use for the past four years with these sets of pants. But before we continue, guys, as of this week, the channel is essentially demonetized. Now, I posted a community post before beginning filming of this video, kind of as proof to show you all what I'm working with, guys. So I'll put about two hours worth of effort into, you know, give or take. If I'm driving to and from the range, it's going to be more effort, obviously. But with editing, with ammo, with gas, um, just trying to put out as much stuff as I can for you guys. And just to have YouTube uh, essentially demonetize it right off the rip. So with that being said, if you want to support the channel, guys, the best way to support the channel is to use the links below. The sponsors of this video are Magpul. Magpul has the best sling options, obviously PMAG options. They have uh, their own eyewear now, so if you need sunglasses, um, they have their own merch line. And, of course, they have stuff uh, like Magpul furniture, like vertical grips and everything from butt socks to handguards. So check out Magpul. They are one of the sponsors of the channel, as well as Palmetto State Armory. Guys, if you need a dagger, okay, a dagger 19 or a GF5 AK, uh, their AK-103 line is sweet, and the GF5s, check out the description below. I'll leave a post for Magpul and for Palmetto State Armory. They are the new sponsors of the channel and the only source of funding for the channel, along with the Patreon. The Patreon is $5 a month, and it gives you direct access to the community discord um, where you can stay up late and find buddies to train with game with and talk about all of your uh, polymer 80 builds and stuff like that this weapon is amber guys and it will serve as the uh, force protection for the video the drink for the video is a rain so we can get caffeinated get motivated and talk about my options for tactical pants cheers okay guys so Let's talk about the types of pants we're going to cover. So we have three different options and different camel patterns. Um, and we're just going to go from the cheapest option to the most expensive option and why you would choose each of the different options and kind of where they fit in. We are in the living room today, guys, so bear with the pets being all crazy. Um, but I'm going to put out as much content as I can because now that I've realized that the channel is essentially demonetized, well, I'm just going to put out as much information as I can to help you guys become a modern patriot, modern Minuteman, and become a prepared citizen and actually arm yourself with good gear. So that is the purpose of today's video. Yeah, I'm a little salty, but we're going we're gonna to drive on. Okay, guys? So the first option we're going to talk about is going to be Emerson pants, okay? The price range for the Emerson pants are going to be around $90. I recommend you buy them on Amazon, okay? As my wife has them all neatly folded, and I'm going to unfold them for the video. So these pants are a Cry Precision GF3 knockoff that that being said they are not going to wear as well uh or they're not going to break in as well as your cry precision pants you're going to have a little bit more wear in some of the high spots like the stretchy material okay you're going to get a lot more wear faster but all the pocket design is going to be the same as your cry precision gf3 pants you're going to have all the same pocket layout you're going to have your knee pad inserts and everything like that so, obviously, this BDU set is Emerson, okay? Let's talk about the pros of the Emerson pants. So, obviously, the one major pro is going to be the price. The price tag is significantly cheaper than everything else we're going to talk about on today's list. But with that price, like I said, is going to come uh, a little bit of a sacrifice in some of the materials used. And, guys, you're not going to be able to tell by looking at the pants, okay? By looking at these Emerson pants, you're not going to be able to tell that is using cheaper material. But when you're feeling this and some of the other uh, pant, pants on the list from today, you can definitely tell in hand that the Emersons, the way they're getting away with that $90 price tag is they're cutting, uh, they're cutting a lot of that quality, high quality material out. Now, guys, you do have all the same adjustments that you would have on your cry pants, okay, with these pants and all the elastic areas uh, I'm not sure the exact name, okay? That's for some thousand pound brain in the comment section to tell you what the different fabrics are called, okay? But uh, these are going to be your Emerson pants. So the pros. The pros are is they come in at a cheaper price point, okay? Cheaper price point. 
the cons. Let's talk about all the uh, as I was the pros. Cheaper uh, cheaper price point, and you're gonna be able to get different patterns. Okay, I am wearing a set in multicam tropic. These are Emerson pants that I'm wearing right now. Okay, I'm wearing them in a multicam tropic just for the vibes. Okay. And if you're someone that likes it, that travels a lot, okay, and maybe you're not being sponsored by a department or an agency and you have to buy your own gear for the LARP, well, Emerson's might be a good option because you can buy multiple different um, types of patterns, okay, BDU, Multicam Tropic, Multicam, Multicam Black, okay, and you're going to be able to get them for ninety that $90 price point on Amazon It's going to pop up as uh, airsoft pants or something like that. Okay. Just look at, look up Emerson pants on Amazon. And if you're in that, if you're that person that needs good pants, um, but you need them on a budget, well, check out Emerson pants come in at around $90. You can get whatever pattern you want, uh, like all the ones I just listed. And that is going to be kind of like your gateway drug or your entryway into tactical pants. It's probably going to be those em Emerson pants. Okay. Um, again, it's the same pants that I'm wearing right now. Has has the two front pockets, same as the cries. Okay, two cargo pockets on the side, two leg pockets. Okay, uh, it has all the all the stuff that you're gonna want. Okay, guys, um, has the elastic material and two rear pockets, obviously as well. But you can look up all the actual specs of the pants on the websites. Okay, that I list. Just make sure uh, you know that where they fall in on the tier list is Emerson's is gonna be your entry level pant okay i've talked a lot about emerson's so if you have any questions about these pants just post below um, they are still comfortable but you can definitely feel where the sacrifices were made and some of the uh the different quality all right guys let's take a quick drink and we're going to move on to pant number two so pant number two might surprise you that it's not on top of the list the second pair of pants that we're going to talk about is going to be cry let me make sure i get the name right cry g3s okay now the price point on the cry g3s is going to be around 200 around it's going to be 235 dollars new okay now here's the cry j3 this is in a multi-cam black uh pattern okay or camouflage let's talk about the, the the quality difference so just in hand from the emerson's to the cry yes you're paying it about 130 dollars more for the cries but you can definitely tell where that quality went as I get dog hair all over this uh, pair of pants. You can definitely tell when moving up to the Cry, uh, I always forget the name, G3s, okay, the Cry G3s. You can definitely tell where the quality is going. The fabric feels much better uh, than the Emerson's, okay, and it has all the same pocket layout as previously described, except it definitely screams quality. And it comes back to that old saying, uh, buy once, cry once, okay, here's those multicam black. Uh, set of pants. Let's move over to the ones I wear the most, which are going to be these actual uh, multi-cam pattern. You've probably seen them a lot on the channel, okay? So actual multi-cam pattern uh, Cry G3s. And guys, these things are sweet. They uh, they do also have the adjustment on the waist here if you need to tighten or loosen, okay? They are just sweet. There's, I can't say enough good things about the Cry G3s. Uh, like I said, this is my favorite pair of pants that I own. Even over some of the like skinny jean type, not skinny jean, but like that, uh, the jean material that I wear a lot. Okay, these are more comfortable than jeans, so that should be noted. But it might surprise a lot of y'all that they are not the top option on my list. And I'm going to cover what the top option on my list is before I cover it. Post down below what your ranking of three, two, and one of what you excuse me, recommend for pants uh, as far as your go-to, your budget option, and what you end up actually using. All right, post down below what you think my number one choice is going to be for pants, guys. And don't forget, Patreon, $5 a month. Uh, huge, huge, sh huge shout out to Magpul, okay, the new sponsor of the channel, as well as uh, Palmetto State Armory. Use the link below and go get yourself a dagger, okay? Yes, they work. Just make sure you put around 100 or 200 rounds through the gun to make sure uh, you get all the little break-in period. But, man, once you get your dagger broken in, um, they're one, they're cheap. Two, it's basically a Glock 19, and they just run. Okay, guys? Okay. My most preferred pair of pants. It's probably going to surprise a lot of you. The price point is going to be $300, and this is going to be the UF Pros. 
UF Pro Pants. I believe, let me let me read off the nomenclature for y'all. Uh, UF Pro X2 Gen 3 or Striker Pants, okay? Why do I like these over the cries? Dude, these things are comfortable, okay? Now, what you're going to notice right away is they come in solid colors, okay? So I have two different colors of the UF Pros, okay? I have tan or FDE, whatever you want to call them, okay? And I have the OD Green set. Let's talk about why I like these more than the cries. First of all is the material, okay? Now, in you're not going to be able to really experience what they feel like unless you get some in hand, but... Let's talk about the fourth point of contact area. This whole area is stretchy material back here, okay? And the pocket layout is makes more sense than the freaking cries in that. So let's just talk about it. You have two normal-ish style pockets, but they're deeper in the front, okay? As well as you have ventilation areas up here in the front. So if you need to ventilate because you're overheating, okay, you can just open up these vents. And yeah, uh, the pockets... They have built-in knee pads, okay? Uh, they're not great, but you can obviously add additional knee pads too. But it's like a minimalist approach to the knee pads. And unlike the cry bottoms, these are already cuffed a little bit. So you don't need to worry about adjusting. You can adjust them with the drawstring, but they're going to be more cuffed. But the reason I prefer these is they are significantly more comfortable and it gives you more options for what you want to do. And I'll show you the green set as well. Okay, we got a set for OD Green. I probably wear these the most on the channel. You'd have to go back and look. But these pants are extremely comfortable, and obviously you're paying the price tag for that uh, at around $300 as of filming of this video. And it's really hard to show on camera, but the UF Pro uh, Striker Pants, or I believe XT3 Pants, are sweet, guys. You're not going to go wrong with it. Uh, when you talk about quality in a pair of pants, you really can't go wrong with UF Pros. They're my favorite pair of pants to wear, um, but you are going to pay that price tag of $300. Uh, I'm sure you can find them used, but man, the UF Pro pants are sweet. If you have the finances to afford uh, the best, I would get UF Pros. Okay, uh, let me make sure I read the right nomenclature. X2, or as I was, XT. Gen 3 Strikers coming in at $300, guys. And like I said, you can tell just in hand, uh, going from the Emersons to the Cries, okay, it's a major jump already. You can tell by wearing them and by feel. Um, the quality goes way up already by about $120 jump from the $90 uh, Emersons to the Cries at about $235. You have a major jump in quality, but then jumping up to the UF Pros. Uh, it is another major jump up, and you can just tell in hand, guys, none of these companies are sponsors, just my experience. Now, what is really going to hurt is if you're wearing your UF Pro pants and you have a blowout, okay? So that is one reason why the Emersons are so cool, because for the price of one pair of UF Pros, I can buy three of these Emersons in different patterns, okay, BDU, uh, like the ones I'm wearing right now, these freaking Tropic pants, okay? But it just comes down to quality. Like the pockets on the Emersons, it's a little bit, uh, it's hard to explain, but just to get your hands into some of the, the regular pockets, okay, it's not uh, as good of quality as the cry pants. But like I said, for the price of one pair of cries, I can buy two of these. So it really comes down to what your, what your needs are, what your budget is. Guys, if all you can afford is the Emerson pants, get two or three of them and you're still going to be good to go. Just know you might have issues sooner due to durability and some of the fabric isn't going to be as comfortable as the higher quality pants, but that is getting into kind of nitpicking guys. All three of these sets of pants will do the job. It's going to come down to uh, your specifics. Another reason, and we'll close this out in a second, why I like the UF Pro, because I kind of like that Russian LARP that you guys have seen on the channel all the time, running an AK with a belt rig and just running the UF Pro pants is fun. And I can run either you know, the desert LARP camo with the tan pants, right? The desert British uh, tiger stripe with this one. Or I can run the American uh, tiger tiger stripe camo uh, with this one, the jungle, jungle Vietnam LARP, and it just really, uh, I like it. Okay, guys, so in summary, uh, Emerson's, yes, they're cheap, but you can get different patterns, and the shipping is going to be faster. I don't know if I mentioned that. 
with the Emersons, the shipping is going to be a lot faster than the Cry. Um, the Cry is 235 bucks. Um, they have, they're kind of like a elitist sort of website, right? Um, they're not going to go out of their way to make uh, off, you know, different weird stuff. So they're going to, um, they're a big company and they make quality products and they know it. So you're going to get what you get, uh, which is a good quality product, but they're going to give you, they're only going to give you so many options as far as patterns. It's probably going to be like multi-cam, multi-cam arid, multi-cam black, multi-cam tropic, and I'm missing one. There's one more I'm missing. Uh, but y'all get the gist. It's going to be around uh, anywhere from five to seven. Uh, last time I checked patterns, okay. Um, but they are an awesome set of pants. And then the upper end, the UF Pros, which is my favorite. They typically come in solid colors, not camouflage. But they are extremely comfortable and extremely durable and extremely breathable. Okay, guys. Those are the three sets of pants. Um, ranked from cheapest to most expensive and the reasons why I like them all. The ones that I end up wearing the most, like I said are probably the tan UF Pros and my multi-cam uh, cries, just because um, they are the most comfortable and the most versatile. Guys, if you enjoy this content, consider becoming a member of the Patreon. It's only $5 a month. It gets you access to the Discord server where you can find buddies to game with and to train with, um, as well as Palmetto State Armory, okay? Go over, get yourself a dagger on the daily deals. They're like freaking 299 bucks for... A dagger okay and you can get like 10 magazines for most of their uh, daily deals so go check out palmetto state armory and the new sponsor of the channel magpul thank you magpul for supporting the channel they have all kinds of good slings eyewear uh magpul furniture for your weapons you know foregrips and obviously p mags okay and all all their stuff runs great okay so check out the people that that support me uh it helps guys if you use the links below and that's going to wrap up the video. Until next time, it's going to be Trench Grenade, the Tactical Paint Enjoyer, um, signing out. Cheers. All right, guys. So I'm just going to show you, I guess, some of the different things about the pants just to give you an idea of what I've been working with for the past four years. So over here, we're going to have the Emerson pants, and we'll just kind of talk through, walk through. So these, are, just a reminder, are the cheaper uh, types of pants, okay? A little bit cheaper fabric, but you're still going to have all the pros, okay? Like the, the cuffs on the bottom of the pants um, and stuff like that, as well as the, the knee pads, so you can put a knee pad in here. Basically, everything the same as the GF3, all right? The elastic is going to be in the same place um, as the GF3. Uh, your dip pouches or whatever y'all want to put in there. We got this is the uh, the cheapest set of pants, and obviously I am wearing the multicam tropic version of these pants. So boom, that is going to be the cheapest option at ninety dollars. The Emerson pants. Hopefully this will give you uh, a better idea of what is going on. All right, moving over to the cries. These two pants here are cries, and you can't notice we tell much of a quality jump from the cry ripoffs the emersons to the actual cries but let me tell you in hand you can definitely tell the fabric is uh far superior okay and some of y'all are gonna be like why did you buy uh multi-cam black cries well it's for the it's for the larp guys they're comfortable and it's for the vibe but like i said the quality jump from 90 dollars to the real 235 dollar pants is significant these pants are much more comfortable um, you get a lot more uh, for for your money as you should with these actual cry gf3s so guys again these are the mid-tier option cry gf3s y'all are probably kind of familiar with them by now but they are worth every penny and going up to the last option the high tier option if you will the uf pro uh, x t gen 3 striker pants notice uh, i don't know if it's coming through on camera but they are extremely high quality they do have these vents right here to actually air out uh, whatever you got going on okay if it's extremely hot obviously built-in knee pads and you can see where the elastic is based on the contrast of the pants they are awesome guys and if you can afford them and you want a good pair of tactical pants definitely recommend checking out the uf pro See if I get it right this time. XT Gen 3 Striker Pan. That's a mouthful. But in summary, boom, the cheapest option, the Emerson pants, okay? And BDU, remember you can get different options of uh, camouflage. The two 
uh, mid tier, the Cry Precision GF3 pants, okay? And then the high tier, the UF Pro, my favorite, uh, the most comfortable, but you're, you get what you pay for, guys, right? Okay, let me know in the comments which of these pants you would prefer. Cheers. Nothing discussed in today's video should be taken as legal advice or as a substitute for legal advice. Always remember the four rules of firearm safety. Treat your weapon as if it is loaded at all times. Keep your finger straight off the trigger until you're ready to engage. Be aware of your target and its surroundings and never point your weapon at anything you don't intend to destroy. The Discord server is live. Get in there, get some gaming buddies and some buddies to train with. The Patreon is live. It is the only source of funding for the channel. It if, if you're interested in it, get over there and check out the Patreon. We could sure use your help. Thanks.